Hello, my name is Stefan Kaus. I'm product manager tutoration from Xalomedix Germany. I want to give you an introduction to automatic tutoration and use the Digital Line 5000 as an example for it. We will show you the setup of the automatic tutorator, how you connect an electrode, how you carry out a pH calibration, and how you fill in the reagent into the burette and prepare the sample and all other things which are necessary to carry out an automatic titration. The Tito Line 5000 is a perfect titrator for the determination of the total acidity in drinks, in soft drinks, in juices or in other foods like uh, mayonnaise, ketchup and mustard. Other examples are the determination of chloride or salt in water and food products. These methods and other applications are stored as standard methods and can easily be uh, selected and used. The Digital Line 5000 has a graphic display which shows you the titration curve during the titration. At the end, the result is calculated and printed out on a printer or stored on a USB stick in PDF or CSV format. You can also connect an, uh, a USB keyboard for easy enter, enter to sample IDs and uh, editing the methods. You can also connect uh, a, a balance which, where you can easily transfer the sample weight from the balance into the Tetrator Tito Line 5000. The setup of the Tito Line 5000 and the determination of our total acidity in a fruit juice will be shown by my colleague Christian Funke. Hello, my name is Christian Funke and I'm application specialist from Salem Analytics Germany. Today I would like to show you the scope of delivery for a Titroline 5000 module 2 and how to set up this um, module. Part of delivery is a menu. We have a magnetic steerer, a hand controller for manual titrations, two little beakers to perform a calibration of the pH electrode, a titration clamp to fix the titration tip and the pH electrode, a stand rod, and a little vessel to store the titration tip. Additionally, we have some buffer solutions for the pH calibration. We have a USB cable to connect the titrator to a PC. A power supply. An adapter to connect reagent bottles to the titrator and a magnetic steerer, a store vessel for the pH electrode, a pH electrode and of course the titrator itself. After all the accessory is now unpacked, we can start to set up the instrumentation. The first thing to attach is the magnetic steerer. The magnetic steerer is run directly by the instrument via these gold contacts. Now we can attach the stand rod. together with the titration clamp. The titration tip is attached. We can mount the adapter for the reagent bottle, which is not part of delivery and is an optional accessory. Also a keyboard, USB hub and 
A memory stick is optional accessory. The tube is connected to the reagent bottle. We can attach this little tube, which can be used, for example, if sodium hydroxide is used as titration reagent to fill in soda lime as protection against CO2. Now we can attach the pH electrode. In that case we have the pH electrode itself and a temperature sensor which is connected in this port. The optional USB hub can be attached. To the USB hub the keyboard is connected and the memory stick. The last thing to attach is the power supply. And after connection of the instrument to the mains, the device can be switched on. After the installation is completed, the barrette needs to be filled with the titration reagent. In our example, we want to titrate the total acidity in juices, therefore we need sodium hydroxide as titration reagent. Um, because of the sodium hydroxide, we need soda lime as protection against CO2 from the ambient. To fill the barrette with the titration reagent, we use the rinsing mode of the titrator. Therefore we press F6 on the keyboard, go to rinsing, and then we start the rinsing two times. When the filling of the barrette is completed, we can go via the escape key back to the main screen. Now we can select the method to be used from the standard methods. Therefore we go to edit, default methods, and here the method total acidity to pH 8.2 is the right method. As the uh, determination of the total acidity in juices is an endpoint titration, we need the exact pH of the, of the sample. Therefore, we need to make a um, calibration of the pH electrode. To make the calibration, we need buffer solutions. We will perform a two-point calibration, uh, and we are using the pH 4 and pH 7 as calibration solutions. To open the buffer solutions, we are breaking the necks on both sides. First side, then we can hold the solution into the beaker, and we break the second neck, and the buffer solution flows into the beaker.
pH electrode is rinsed before the calibration is started with deionized water. Then we go with F8 to the calibration menu of the instrument. The display says automatically which step needs to be performed. In that case, rinse electrode, which we have already done, and immerse into buffer 1, which is the buffer 4. Then we press the start button. and the calibration is performed. Again the titrator asks for the next step. Again we are reading the electrode. using the second pH7 buffer. And then starting the second point calibration with enter. When the calibration is ready, the result is shown in the display and the, the PDF of the calibration result is printed on the USB stick. Now we are ready to measure the sample. For the measurement of the sample, we are using 10 milliliter of the orange juice. Therefore, we pipette 10 milliliter of the sample into a beaker. Then we dilute this 10 milliliter to about 60 milliliter with the ionized water. Then we insert the electrode on the tip. Steering the sample. It is important to have this direction, this uh, orientation of the electrode and the tip. Then we can start the titration with F1 start key. The titrator asks for a name of the sample volume was 10 milliliter sample volume and then the titration starts with the mode key the online curve of the titration can be seen can be switched to the to that online curve and again with mode the screen with the actual with the current pH and volume can be seen.
and when the endpoint is reached, the titrator calculates automatically the result of the titration. The result is shown in the display and the PDF is printed on the USB stick, on the memory stick. When the titration has finished, the electrodes uh, needs to be rinsed and then the titrator is ready for the next titration. As you see, the default methods uh, are already uh, usable for many applications and uh, it's quite easy to perform such a titration. We hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.